you very much, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to greet you with the Turkish words of Sufis when they greet each other during the morning session. Sabah Sheriklar Hayr olsun, Şerler Def olsun, Hayırlar Fet olsun. Let this sunshine, let this morning sun bring us some benediction from God and let evil be far away from us. Uh, my title of presentation here is an alim with a Sufi heart. The impact of Sufism in Gulen's thought and action. As a traditional scholar of Islam, preacher, thinker, poet, and the author in one hand, and an educationalist, activist, peacemaker on the other hand, an important contemporary Turkish religious leader, Fethullah Gulen, or Khoja Efendi, which means uh, himself and his movement has been a very attractive subject matter of many studies for the last 10 years. However, if you look at the fundamental character of those researchers in Turkey and abroad, we see that most of them are mostly some strategic studies focused on either sociopolitical projects of his movement or determining the degree of his tree to so-called modern society, modern world. Of course, such a successful person who has thousands of followers and international educational projects, ultimately, uh, he deserves many studies. Uh, actually, uh, he is inescapable of becoming an open target for all those type of researchers. He deserves many studies from a variety of aspects. Nevertheless, we must not forget that every action has its cease in thought. There are only two exceptions of articles uh, on, uh, from the Sufi point of view. Uh, there are one, uh, Mr. Zeki Topak's article, and uh, the second one is uh, recently published by uh, Mr. Thomas Michel in the uh, Muslim world. As an expert on Sufism, as a professor of Sufism, I'm teaching uh, Sufism at Marmara University in Turkey. Uh, the author of this paper will try to analyze the impacts of Sufi ideas, terms and personalities on the one Gilem's personality, thought and action. So further effects of his understanding of Sufi ideas can be seen beyond all his action. I will not deal directly with, with his educational, political, or social projects. While his written works, such as books, articles, interviews, and poems, along with his thoughts, would be main sources, but some secondary sources also will be used in order to fulfill this research. I will split my research into stages. First, I will try to render chronologically some aspects of Sufism which have integrated with Mr. Gulen's life. Secondly, I will try to examine his frame of mind or mindset, mentality, from a mystic point of view, and finally draw my conclusion based on these data. I will not be able to present all inputs in such a short time. Sure. Therefore, I will have to highlight only a few examples to give the gist of this paper. In the future, it is my hope to elaborate this subject with subsequent research. I have based my research on Mr. Gulen's own writings and own papers about his life and thoughts written by others, all of which are available at Mr. Gulen's website www.petalwagulen. I will focus on the city of Erzurum. Uh, at this section of my research, I will bring to your attention some profile of Mr. Gillen's life, which formed the foundation of his mystic thought. Undoubtedly, all animate beings are born into environments that influence their development. Roger <coughs> Pandi was born on November 11, in 1938, in Korejik village of Erzurum. 
His parents were followers of Hadrat Muhammad Lutfi Adandi, Awal uh, Akhtar. He was a, a Sheikh of Nakshi Khariji uh, Sufi tradition. Uh, the Sheikh of Awal Akhtar was Muhammad Kufrevi, and his Sheikh was Sayyid Taha Hakkari, whose Sheikh was Mevlana Khariji Wadadi himself, himself, the founder of Khariji Sufi order. The people I met in Erzurum told me that Hodef and his father, Ramuz Efendi, was a God-conscious, muttaki, uh, pious individual and a devout student of Alvar Lehefe. We don't know whether Hodef Efendi himself took hand into initiation from Alvar Lehefe, who had tremendous influence on him. However, from this statement of Hodef Efendi, this statement, we could draw the conclusion that he has not taken hand from Alvar Lehefer. Quotation, he says, I do not remember exactly when I met the uh, Alvar Lehefer, because when I opened my eyes to this world, I found my father and my mother urging for, for this lucid foundation. I cannot say that I was able to comprehend his presence. Good. For I was only 16 when he made his journey to the hall, when he passed away. Nevertheless, his condensation enabled me to acknowledge his presence. I can easily tell that the traits I possess today, the traits I possess today, are based on my impressions of that acknowledged, that time. End of quotation. Hoje Efendi could not utilize enough this source which might have which might have helped him delve into metaphysical sciences because of his age and preoccupation with classical religious sciences. Another reason was the effect of the environment. Since the beginning of the twentieth century, religious life and Islamic understanding in Hoje Efendi's hometown, Azurum, was shaped fundamentally by madrasa scholars, ulama. Therefore, Hoji Efendi, who was a young fellow uh, of this tradition at that time, stayed away from Sufi gatherings where conversations were uh, embodied on terminology of inaugurations such as law, rapture, wine, kapir, or melamati, uh, and tavern uh, terminologies. However, there are quite many examples in Sufism where a course of second sobriety is experienced, uh, which is Fatkasani in Arabic, uh, experienced after a period of inebriation. In fact, Mevlana Khalid uh, himself, his poetry, is brimful of such experience. Uh, we find many, uh, infor many examples parallel to the concept of unity of existence, for example, the Wahid al Wujud, exerted by Sufis from among the Khajagan uh, Khanedan, which is Khajagan uh, lineage, uh, like Khajan Muhammad Parisa, who wrote the annotation of in Oni Nularadi's Khusus al Hikam, The Bezels of Wisdom. In one, just one of them. After Mevlana Khalid, who was also a uh, Khalid leader of the Khalid order, and uh, the, some local madrasa scholars' interpretation of Islam and uh, transformed into an aesthetic Sufi path, path, giving precedence to exoteric sciences, external uh, ulumu zahir, uh, zahir uh, sciences. 